I'm Pat Carmody, Larry's middle child. And on behalf of the Carmody family, I just really like to thank everyone that's out here. I'm quite impressed by the big crowd. My, I'm sure my dad will be quite impressed as well. Um, now, I've got to thank a few people who've come quite a distance here. There's California, Oregon, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Chicago, Illinois, Chicago, Michigan, Arizona, New Mexico, Virginia, Massachusetts, and last time I'm going to use my own. Ireland. And um, 
Anyways, mom, mom and dad, unfortunately, weren't married for 18 years, which doesn't seem that long, funny enough, but uh, they raised seven kids, and Bill's kind of already gone through the names, so we'll, we'll do that again. But he also had eight grandchildren, all girls. <laughs> uh, uh, us kids are extremely proud of what dad did. I mean, we, I can still see him getting up in the mornings before I go to work, getting the crock pot ready for dinner for the evenings, and coming home organizing. So he did a fantastic job, and I'm quite sure mom will be incredibly proud of her. It's nice to think that they're heading out trying to see him actually. His mom's been dead coming close to 40 years. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it, it's been a long time. Uh, Dad never remarried, loved his life. Now, Mom would be proud of Dad too, sincerely proud. But she'd also be a little bit disappointed in some of the decisions he did make. I'll be honest with you. Because Dad did make some rules. <laughs> um, the funnest thing that I have is we, Dad used to farm up until 1969. Uh, part-time farm. So he used to get the tractor and take all us Carmody kids and some of the Norses that are here today. And we get on the tractor and we go plow, plow the fields. And one of the famous stories that Dad had is all us kids were on the tractor and Dad had to go check something on the, on the ditch or the fences. So we put Frank on, on the tractor who was six years old and left him there Frank on the tractor. And Mom, who never came up there, came up there and saw Frank drive the tractor and needless to say she's not here for Dad and I um, and the other fond memory I have is um, behind our house we used to just open fields and we used to take this old 1950 pickup and we used to drive it back and forth. Uh, Dad was driving drive under age back and forth. And again, a lot of the neighbor kids used to come with us as well. And it was all great fun, but one of the issues Dad had was we were quite good drivers at the age of 10 or 11. And our main thing is we wanted to go onto the main roads to drive. Now, one night, one night in particular, um, I was working in a restaurant, and I was, this is important, I was 13 and 11 months, and Bill was 15 and 11 months and a half. Okay, now I was working in a restaurant, and Dad and Bill had to come pick me up after midnight at, over at 6th and Garrison. For those who don't look around here, that's about five miles from here. Okay, so Bill had his motors come in, so he wanted to come over and drop get some driving time. So he drove over there to, to pick us up. Anyways, I said to Dad, we got there, Dad, let me drive. Dad looked around, saw no traffic, he said, sure, why not? Uh, scoot over the middle of that back road. So I started driving down the road, and about a half a mile down the road, I looked, I looked behind me, and I said, there's a police officer behind me. And Dad goes off his back. Naturally, he blames Bill and I for allowing us to drive. So, well, this is the tricky part. This is the tricky part. He used the word God, didn't he use the word damn you? Had to put those together. We used the word sign. We used the word allege. We put those together as we drove home. Is there a suspect? Seriously, we caught the man doing that. Anyway, the cop called me every turn that we made. Anyway, we got in front of Carmody Junior High. And the cop turns the lights on. And I said, Dad, the lights are on. So here's what Dad, that funny part comes out, I think. That says, all right, pull over, put it in here, swap seats. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and you remember, in those old line forward pickups, they had those windows, those little small windows, right? And that cop couldn't see, couldn't see Bill and I's head. He's probably going to pull over. But Dad knew that. So anyways, we swap seats. The, the cop comes up to the window, puts the flashlight in Bill's face, and says, um, says, were you driving this car? And followed with a friend of the He said, uh, no, he was. Was the cop that looks at me and says, were you driving this car? And I said, yes. He said, how old are you? And I said, 13. <laughs> They hit this cop this lady to dad about let a 13 year old drive a car. How irresponsible, what kind of parent are you? I should lock you up and take your license away. Your son's never going to get a license, I'm never going to get one either, all that. So, anyways, now the cop let us go. If you can believe it. Now, you wonder why? I'll tell you why. My dad was sitting in the truck. Now, dad never wore a shirt. He never wore a shirt. So, I this big head guy that's got hanging out. This old beat up pick up. There's me who's 13, looks about 11, right? I'm washing dishes at a restaurant all night, so I'm filthy, right? 
this. But it's not real dead. We can barely see it over the steering wheel. And any of the old neighbors will know this in a second. But the uh, girls' glasses were always broken. <laughs> <laughs> Hospital. 
for two weeks. I learned some every day, and they never put it to me. Now my kids took me to a restaurant. It was a nice restaurant. It wasn't a cheap restaurant. And I ordered a salad, and they didn't give me tomatoes. They were going to this one. And he goes, looks at me. Can they still put tomatoes in the salad in Australia? <laughs> yeah, I think so, Dad. We do, we do. He said, good, because by God, tomatoes are going out of fashion. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, at, at the end of the day, Dad is an incredibly humble, humble person. And the thing I think that I, when I think of Dad most, is he never put on any pretenses and tried to be anyone he wasn't. He just he was who he was and he got what he got. And honestly, we're all a little guilty of sometimes putting on pretenses. Dad never really did that. He just was just him. It was, it was fantastic. He didn't try to brag, he never really tried to show off about anything. And, um, and I, I think that um, he was really comfortable in his own skin, and he treated everyone with dignity and respect. And on behalf of all his kids, we're going to love Dad immensely. He was a fantastic father, and um, thank you very much.